All right. Bow down to patch 1417. Don't tell me what to do. All right. Matchmaking improvements. We don't care too much. Changes register. We don't care too much. Aurora still disabled in pro, so I don't care too much. Uh, damage down. Okay. I think this ultimate is so powerful still. Probably will see play because it fits a very important niche of like engage, having engage. Ash health down by 30. I think that's okay. Ash should still be played, but I think it's currently in a very strong state. That's a fine nerf. Okay. Bernard now has a cap at 30 damage per second to monsters. Explosion now has a cap against monsters. 250, 350, 400, 475, levels 1, 6, 11, 16. Hmm. Oh, this. I need to think. What was the actual health of camps? What's the actual health of camps? Like, what kind of impact does this have on the clear? It's so, so it's kind of hard for me to judge because I, I need to think about how much percentage damage they you already do in the first place against camps, and uh, how close is this to to reaching the same equilibrium? It's like what is the difference? You know, what, like what is the difference? I wonder if this just is tied down to more of a scaling clear because early brand clear is not the strongest. It's like level one, two, three, four. It's not the strongest brand. I, I I don't think um, I like I so so that like if if his clear is worse early and his, his clear speed is going to scale a lot worse I think it's a rip I think it's straight up just because like brand is not even that strong level one two four it just isn't and um, if 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 I'm judging this correctly right uh, if I'm judging this correctly like let's just double check what is the brand. Okay. Double check brand percentage damage. Brand percentage damage. Stack of blades equal to 2% of the maximum health over 4 seconds. Each blade stack deals target individually and applies the damage takes depend on the time they were applied, even if the duration of all the stacks are refreshed. A blaze deals 250% of the take to monsters capped at 80. Is this not updated then? It's not updated. It's not updated. Well, then it's kind of fucked, no? Then I think this champion has just got headshot in the forehead, no? Like, what, what, what is... Uh... I don't know, Brand is not even here. Did these changes even go through? Hmm. Well, either way, his, his, his scaling, his, the scaling clear is, is a lot worse. And that's for sure. I don't know if it affects his first clear. That's what I'm curious about. It's kind of weird now with how I guess it just doesn't show up here. Is it because the, the play rate is not enough? We will see, I guess. It, it, it sounds like a big headshot. It sounds like a headshot. Attack speed ratio. <gasps> This is big. This is really big, I think. This is insanely big. Damn. This was always one of Caitlyn's biggest problems. One of the biggest problems of Caitlyn is that her scaling with attack speed was really, really bad. But this is really big, I think. I think it's really big because I think Caitlyn is already like kind of useful. And like when Chavez like Ash are getting nerfed, Ezra is getting nerfed, that's like good for Kaelin. Attack speed ratio is basically your scaling with attack speed. So depending on the attack speed ratio, the better you scale with attack speed. You get me? Because attack speed is a percentage. Alright. Four second down on Yoda snap trap is also pretty fucking decent. That's pretty good. Base city down two, okay. All right. I feel like Ezreal kind of fell out of sorts. I think I think a big problem for Ezreal is that there's too many tanks in the meta, 
and he just hates buying La Suspa items. Like they're all really bad. Like you have to buy them sometimes, but that doesn't make them good, right? Like some champions synergize really well because they have pure physical damage. So LDR makes a lot of sense and Cerilla has its own issues, right? That you are already aware of. But he has mixed damage and needs ability haste. So it's 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 always awkward, you know? Black Leaf Azure could be a thing, yeah. Uh, for sure, yeah. Graves, Q cooldown decreased at higher ranks and damage increased. Q cooldown down. Six, one second down. Initial damage, bonus AD. 20, maximum damage. 20. Okay. I think that uh, with the changes to lethality items, nerf to lethality items, uh, Graves is in like a very, very tough limbo. I don't know if this could affect like lane graves with like BT rush lane graves. BT rush lane graves maybe is is something. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, you have uh, five percent AP scaling down after the Katarina buffs. Okay, just uh, shopped it. Q damage decreased. Can a nerf? Can a nerf, ladies and gentlemen? Ten percent AP scaling down. I don't think this changes when you pick or shouldn't pick cannon. I think it remains the same. All right. I think I think I think those words I say it so often when I'm reading patch notes because they're trying to like move champions half a percentage, one percentage, you know, with these changes because they're not trying to push champions out of the meta completely. Your attack speed, E mounting dread, bonus AD cooldown two second. Okay. All right, well, she got nerfed. Like, all of her items got nerfed, right? Kraken got fucking headshot. I think just this champion is in a horrible state, so I, I, I get it. Digital Malice. Wow. Is, is Leblanc doing that well? Is Leblanc doing that well? Interesting. I, I had no clue that Leblanc was doing that well. Let me see what was going on. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Kind of out of loop of what's happening in Soul Queue. Okay. Hmm. Well, Levelang is one of those champions that people hate to play against, so they are very, very fast to nerf it if it's decent in Soul Queue. Like they are very, very fast to nerf champions that people hate. Damage monsters cap. Okay, so it's... Oh... We are just refusing to nerf Leandri, are we? Why does Kesante not get nerfed? What do you mean? No one cares about playing against Kesante. Like, like, like people, people that are watching esports. You, you, we are such a small percentage of people. Is that that play the game? Kesante and Soloki doesn't give a fuck, bro. No one give a f gives a fuck about Kesante and Soloki. Yeah, but your anecdotal shit it doesn't matter. Like they have a lot more data to work with, bro. I think I think a community perception, community perception is that Kisante looks very strong when he wins. He looks completely useless when he loses. But it's 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 always like the perception, you know. All right, I, I don't like the fact that we are not nerfing Leandri and Victor Dashes. We're just tar targeting the champs. That's that's sad for me. Personally, right, five damage per level 220. This is a spell that is maxed. And the slow on Frozen Tomb, 45. Ooh, bro, I feel like Lissandra's getting so many buffs, man. Something's gotta give, no? Something's gotta give. I feel like Lissandra is just getting patch notes on patch notes on patch notes. Like, she, she is getting so much, so many buffs. Like, let, let, let's take a look at the patch history. 
So the current ones, AP ratio increased to 85 from 80. Ring of Frost cooldown down by 2 seconds, which is insane. Uh, selection rate is increased. Okay, whatever. Tax speed growth. Oh, she, she, I thought she got more buffs. Maybe it was last year she got so many buffs. It was last year. Root, root duration increased. Okay. Such a weird number. 165. Tick interval reduced. Missing health. Minimum heal. Slow increased. Cooldown reduced. Hmm. I guess they just made her fatter. Yeah, you're right, Mephisto. Okay. Well, I thought she had, she had more buffs than that. The, the issue, I guess, with Lissandra is just that ever, ever, ever since the changes of how midwaves work, the place with Lissandra and like really strong mid jungle duos that like take over the map is bad. It's like you, you want to have champions on mid that benefit from being able to pressure on mid rather than champions that benefit from pressuring mid and going into different lanes, you know? Base armor decreased. Okay. I. I had no clue. Okay, I'm out of the loop on Pike. Like I'm, I'm so competitive build that I'm out of the loop on Pike. Passive damage decreased. Okay, one percent target max health. Okay, well, like I, I think that I, I do think that uh, Rommel probably deserves bigger nerfs than this. You know. Probably, but I think it comes back to Leandri again. I think Leandri is just OP. And Leandri makes this champion broken. Leandri makes this champion really strong. Uh, Leandri makes this champion really strong. It makes this champion really broken. Uh, it's just Leandri all the time, man. It's just, I don't know, like I'm a one string banjo just talking about Leandri, man. Okay, cooldown down. 30 seconds on Ult. Hmm? Five damage on Q, thirty seconds on Ult. I don't think this moves. I, I I don't think this moves things that hard. But thirty seconds on Ult. That's neat. Okay. I don't expect this champion to show up in pro play. I just I just don't. Senna. Healing. Fifty five. Twenty five per level. Shield, AP scaling down. Okay, I think that's entirely reasonable. I think for competitive play, honestly, I think, I think this this kind of kills it. I think competitively, fourteen sixteen. I think Senna is not real. I think the Senna is too piss useless for the majority of the game. Uh, Senna is just Sona two point She's Sona 2.0 with a little bit better laning, and that's what she is right now. And that doesn't belong in pro play, in my opinion. Like, you're playing to make your support scale to give you healing and shields. I think it's a little bit too gimmicky in my mind. And the main question here, guys, the main question I have, if I think about Senna, is if it makes sense to farm with Senna again. Because the souls don't benefit you as much, but the items that you buy are broken. Maybe there's a world where Senna should farm again and actually, you know, just, just buy the items. Because if you get Echoes of Helia, Moonstone, like you're gated by your items, you're not gated by souls. Like, who give, like the souls don't matter. People are forgetting that her AD build was most, mostly untouched other than Lethality. Nah, it's, 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 the AD build is, is got completely headshot because of how souls were. So that's untrue. But I'm thinking you farm to get gold to buy the OP Senna items. You're going to have less souls, but I honestly don't give a fuck, bro. The souls don't matter as much. L look at this. It's, it's like they give you range, but who cares? 
you're not you're not hitting enemies like to to get like like you're not dpsing you're just hitting to reduce your cooldown of your q and to get souls because it's like the, the what you get from souls where does it say bro? details Details. Where is it? 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 Guys. All right, there it is. Zero seventy-five bonus AD. For every twenty stacks, it gets range and crit, and then every one percent crit is excess. Uh, so it's like the amount of crit you get is, is nerfed. So maybe, maybe, maybe the play is just to follow this champ. If you have the AD damage in your comp, just to reach your big items. You could do like black lever into full support and maybe that's the best way you know maybe that's the way and you just farm gold just fucking so black lever it up all right starting is finally going from rising star to superstar w shield decrease and cool increase the higher ranks okay okay Silas? Wow. Really? Silas is doing that well? Really? I don't see a world where this champion has a place in pro play, you know? Currently, where we at. Okay. I'm so out of loop when it comes to... Um, I'm so out of the loop when it comes to... To solo queue. 14-16. D2 plus. Throw to build. Wow. I need to I need to do the the tests. I need to I need to stay in the loop with uh, with fucking solo queue. I guess just with the changes of Silas and then uh, Proto Belt get having more HP and uh, Cosmic Drive having more HP, maybe that just uh, pushed him over the edge. Okay, interesting. So w Max Proto Belt. Cosmic Drive, there it is. Cosmic Drive Protobuilt. Lich Pain is most commonly bought. The Protobuilt just seems to be doing better. And then, let's just double check. What did I press? Silas Lord. AP ratio reduced, armor increased, base damage increased. Then AP scaling up. Okay. Okay. I can see that, yeah. I can see that. This seems to be pretty big. 20 damage on Q Max to Sefate mid. I, I could I could see this. I could see this being something. I can see this. This this is pretty pretty interesting to me. Whereas escape pro jail and despite its recent buzz is still underperforming. Max damage. What? A 
Am I... Am I reading this wrong? Am I am I reading this wrong? Oh, it's bonus AD. They they swapped the total AD to bonus AD, guys. Okay. Well. Hmm. I think I, I'm I'm reading some some really wrong text in the chat, guys. They are removing total. There, it's no longer total AD scaling. Okay, there's no longer total AD scaling, and they are moving it to bonus AD scaling, which means that AP Varus doesn't benefit from this at all. I guess it's pretty straightforward. It's just a buck to the Varus build that buy AD. Doesn't this just make his Q always deal more damage? No. You it, because total AD doesn't it like they are counting the base AD in total AD. That's the difference. Total AD is together with base AD, and. Um, Bonus AD is only bonus AD. So you have to buy AD. But I don't know at what AD it becomes better, right? Because the main question is... Let's take a look at this. Let's just take a look at the uh, Varus base AD, okay? So we have level 1, you have Q, 59 AD. Level 1, one twenty-five percent of 1 CD, 125, so it's 125, 25 times not 59, 73 and a half plus 15. Okay. And then we check, we just check three. And this is like, this is also without counting uh, Doran's blade. Because you, you, you do have AD from runes and sometimes, yeah, from items too, of course. There are three. Level three, you're 64. 64. This is just a buff, always. Let 
check level 981 which is round up to 82 82 times 118 118 against a buff of It's always above. It's always above. Because I didn't even count like the, the bonus AD, you know, because you benefit, you benefit 45% more from bonus AD. So it's always above. It's always above, man. Let's just think. Like if I'm, if I, if I have, if I'm level nine, let me see where they nerfed Varos from. A base AD of 80s is very low, so. Base attack damage reduced. Cast Grace Spirit during piercing arrow increases to zero. Okay. Okay. I guess it's pretty simple. I guess it's pretty simple, guys. I think Lethality Varus is just back. Lethality Varus is just back. Holy. Okay. Ooh. Well, that's... This is a big nerf. <laughs> this, this is a very big nerf. It's a very, very big nerf. The Ormox is getting shot in the head. It's it's actually dead. This is death. Absorb life. All right, that's that's also a pretty fucking big nerf. Cut down nerf. All right. It took you long enough, bro. Fucking precision tree is so fucking broken. I don't know, like... The dispatch... I don't know, we're just gonna have more of the same. I, I feel like the patch... The patches are like three patches behind, always. In regards to what's happening in pro play. Three patches behind. It's like right now... Right now, it's, it's Maokai Ivan every game. We're back to Maokai Ivan fucking Vi. Uh, and and they are nerfing Lilia brand now. I guess we have to see where the mages land. I'm just gonna check for the fleet foot over nerf. Move speed down, health. Okay. All right. Can you still play 80 mids at worlds? Yeah, you can. Like, like, how big of a change is this? Is, uh, like, like, Justana is still playable, I think. Coke is still playable. I think you can play Smolder still. It's just the main question is now, is like, where will it land? It's like, are people going to play Azir or Rihanna? Is it going to do well into these champs? Or, or not? And I think that we are reaching, like... I, I feel like Riot is trying really hard to make them not crash. Like, it's like they want to park them right next to each other, you know? I still don't know why they don't tweak the numbers less, but more often to get everything viable at the same time and encourage actual drafting, but that's exactly what they're doing. That's exactly what they're doing, so I, I don't know what you're complaining about. That's like exactly what they're doing. 
But there's like logistical matters. Like they can't just fucking send out patches perma. Like. They, they, that's exactly what they're doing. Okay. Well, I think the big ones, big the, the big ones is Warmox is dead. I think that the brand got headshot. I think Varos looks pretty fucking interesting and strong. And Senna, I, I told, shared you guys the idea. Rumble nerfs are not enough, I think. It's still gonna be a strong champ. And then um yeah, the fucking um the Caitlyn change is also super interesting, I think. Alright.